the question relates to the presence of Virgin Mary amidst Armenian Syrian community of Sweden. Such appearance do not happen in any particular community or country, it's worldwide and among different religions as well. Some time ago in Trinidad, maybe a couple years ago, maybe Hindus worship and consider Ganesh, the elephant god, as the foremost when it comes to worship. It is said that Ganesh appeared on the window of a person's house in southern part of Trinidad. There was a huge throng and religious people always take advantage of these situations various Hindu religious leaders flew to that place, made their statements as a great indication and things like these. Also there was an event that Ganesh was drinking milk. The statue of Ganesh was drinking milk. I was told this thing, I paid no attention to it. We have to look into the things scientifically and just keeping the books of Tao Shu Buddha is not enough. Understanding each and every single word that has been mentioned in these books is relevant. When I received the questions from Lars, the first thing came to my mind, he has not read the leaves from the Sufi Heart Volume 1, where I have spoken about, about the seven valleys of Al-Ghazali. In that it has been explained these kind of phenomena in detail. The fourth, fifth, and sixth valley, the fourth, the valley of tribulations, because there are certain major religions as Christianity, Jewism, Hinduism and Islam, and each religion has subsects. It is said that Christianity have 38,000 different sects. Hinduism and Islam similarly have thousands of different sects. A Hindu will not dream Jesus Christ or Virgin Mary or Holy Prophet and a Muslim will not dream or imagine or see the vision of Virgin Mary, Jesus or the symbols of other religions. First and the foremost thing is that whenever and wherever these symbols arise, these appearance, the first thing is this, if it can transform the people, this was my first observation. I have told the people when they asked me, I said, I have not, no comments to make. If such appearance transforms the people, bring deeper understanding and faith in them, it is good. Otherwise, it is nothing else but a waste of time. Most of the cases, these kind of things appear on the glass windows or where there is light passing through. 
whenever we clean the windows glass windows we use glass cleaners and a certain amount of moisture remains there when rays of light fall when rays of light fall refraction takes place many times you would have heard somebody all of a sudden tells you looking at the cloud that are you seeing these religious symbols great meanings are given to that it is said that ganesh appeared in one of the house windows people thronged outside the house to see and the religious leaders interpreted it that somehow because of certain reasons this person has been converted into christianity so ganesh is indicating that he has to come back to the origin because he was born in a hindu family is supposed to worship ganesh and he had soaked and become a christian so he has to come back to hindu fold this is how a hindu will interpret it i have heard once mulla nasruddin heard that a person was converted into islam a person of others religion was converted into islam when people asked he said that man has got sense he had been wasting his time worshiping the idols and now he has got the sense that he has accepted islam very logical and the logic is always related to your own understanding then he heard that a muslim converted to hindu religion when people ask for his comment he said that man is satan has captured him and it is satan who made him convert from islam to hinduism the other religion the act is same conversion from one religion to the other when people are converted to your religion it is sign of wisdom and when people convert from your religion to other religion it is ignorance it is the hook of satan if it can make you really spiritual begin your inward journey it is very good i have seen certain videos where jesus opening his eyes and closing virgin mary's lips moving a similar situation which i had mentioned that it was said that a ganesh statue drinking milk and milk not in small quantity but bigger quantities people feeding this milk with the spoon and ganesh is drinking and it was interpreted in many different ways according to their own conditioning and bent of mind a statue made out of clay has pores in it and because of the capillary system reaction the it will absorb any kind of moisture that goes in because that is the tendency of the clay it will absorb the moisture if the pores are empty and then when the saturation level comes it will not absorb any more simply you are adding sugar to water all of a sudden when you do it within a few minutes those crystals will disappear do we give it a religious significance that sugar disappeared and it continues to disappear and the color of the water changes 
until a certain time when the saturation level is attained then sugar crystal remains crystal can you give it a religious sanction that now devil has come in and this sugar that was melting cannot melt anymore or what has happened that they are the devil has changed the color this is how the religious people feed on the ignorance of the people and it has been mentioned in the valleys the seven valleys the fourth the valley of tribulation and the others this is how each community each belief system sees the things in the form of dreams in the form of many things but the ultimate result remains the same the dissolution and the valley of tribulations which is the fourth valley is the entry into unconscious it is the entry into what christians mystics have called the dark night of the soul it is the entry into the mad world that you are hiding behind yourself it is very weird it is very bizarre and also if you look at it a reason as long as one is full of joy and celebration he is not interested in religious things the moment full of becomes full of problems we start leaning towards the religions a girl gets and it will give a laughter gets a tabanka in her love life tabanka means her beloved has left him or ditched him or whatever we can call it and if the person is of hindu belief she starts dreaming the hindu goddesses hindu goddesses appearing to her in trinidad colloquial language we call it the person has tabanka the girl or the boy boyfriend has left i have heard one girl she was having a great hope to get married to a person but finally it did not work out the girl went into depression and it started dreaming the goddess hindu symbols of goddesses durga and many other things because she was basically a worshipper of durga so durga starts appearing to her these are all the outcome of stumbling blocks in the process of spiritual growth we pay attention to it just like when you see a scene in the movie you do not get attached because your objective is something else is spiritual development and these seven valleys which is a great contribution of al ghazali and hazrat the naqshbandi sheikh imam zafar sadiq razi allah taala unno spoke to a woman who came to her and she said she has moved she has been to many masters she has learned this thing and that thing from this one and so each time when she moved from one master to another she felt that she has gained more wisdom and now that she finds that his way is the best she has come to him he told the woman to go back to home and he will send his response two days after a messenger from imam zafar sadiq reaches the woman's house and handed over to him a bottle with three layers of sand separated with a cotton wadding and a piece of paper with the message 
The piece of paper said, remove the cotton batting and shake the bottle. It had the red, yellow and black sand separated with cotton weddings. So all the colors were visible and when she was told to shake up all that, the, remove the wadding and shake up the bottle to find what she has reduced herself to. It is purposely I had not responded to it earlier. When it remains, it becomes essential to clear that aspect. When you are treading the spiritual path, we have to abandon all past associations. If you are moving into a new relationship, you cannot continue the past. Your experiences in the past, your experiences with different boyfriends and girlfriends, because those will become an obstruction in the process of establishing new relationships. You will not be entered into always that the past will linger on to your mind. It will continue it will continue like a heavy burden on your consciousness. It is therefore essential that when you move into new direction, move out all these things. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for you to maintain or enter into new relation. A spiritualism journeying, traveling along the spiritual path is like severing all the past connections. I am not Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Islam or anything else. I have understanding of all these paths and religions but no connections. This is what has been taught to me when I asked my grandmother what is my religion. I am born in a Hindu family but brought up in a Sufi environment brought up in a Sufi environment, when I asked my grandmother what is my religion, she told me your religion is the same as that of God. She could have conditioned me that you are born in a Hindu family, definitely your religion is Hinduism, or you are being brought up in a Sufi family, your ancestors, your forefathers, they are Sufi, so you are Sufi. She did not say any of things, any such thing like that to me. When I inquired what is the religion of God, if you say my religion is the same, she told me you asked too many questions that you have to discover yourself. So she created a methodology that all the past connections have been severed because we have been brought up in a particular way. The food habits, because in our homes in India, our regular meals for breakfast, we may take the Indian flat bread, which is called roti or chapati or paratha, smeared with ghee, eat it with vegetables or we may have something else, porridge or something else made, lunch time, a dal, vegetable, no western pastas, nothing of the other things. So we were brought up like that. That, rem that is a altogether different thing and it is not as rigid as that of the others. Many years back when my father came to Trinidad. One day it happened that we made pizza at home, homemade pizza for dinner. He ate pizza, 
it was an invention and somebody made a daughter in law made it so he had no problem eating that after that one hour passed he snuggled to me on the couch and inquired what about dinner today we are not cooking dinner to him pizza was not dinner because he brought up in a particular way so because of that my eating habits may be different but that has nothing to do with my spiritual understanding or religious understanding then you become and you remember the statement of jesus that i am the saltishness in the salt he does not say i am the salt then there are different brands of salts different sources from where the salt comes then you are confining yourself to brands and all those things go for the religiousness that is the quality he is mentioning that go for the quality hinduism is a religion but this religion has a religiosity that it has to have devotion understanding and awareness towards that which is formless if i ask you something about your father or your mother you will try to explain but you will go inside and bring an image and show me that this is the image of your father this image is not your father or mother it is symbol it reminds you of your father or mother form is there to remind you to create trust in you lovingness in you towards your father mother or whosoever be that symbol now the father the mother is no more alive they are formless and maybe that after death the form that was visible to you breaks into its components and dissolves to become the part of the entire existence various components go to their different things just like it is like you are renovating a house you break down the old structure the house is composed of various metals it has iron it has wood it has concrete it has blocks when you are building the house all these come together to give a support but when you are breaking down the house to build a new construction the iron goes into iron scrap metal and it is sold it is used in place of iron alone but not in place of concrete or wood maybe your scrap metal of iron and these metals will go to the scrap yard put into the furnace and again melted in to form the shingles and many things to be used in the construction industry the pieces of the concrete blocks and all those things will be converted into pebbles to become part of the construction but they do not mix they get separated they become the part of the whole it is said that the human body is composed of five elements the earth the water the fire so the fire goes to the fi uh, the cosmic fire the earth goes to its component and everything goes to their original components so the form has dissolved into formless and then out of the formless the form comes back again and the person is reborn can you recognize in the metal in the iron that you bought from the hardware for your construction that 
it is it the same iron that your scrap metal was sent to the scrap yard and melted no it is not so we do not lament over that so to the form is there only for a remembrance for your trust maybe when you are speaking you to your friend or someone about your father or mother and show him the replica of person a river of emotions may arise in you you may remember how your father took care of you for the first time when you made a mistake or something or the other what it is actually doing it is sowing and it is is giving a flip to the those qualities in you all of a sudden you remember that how your father have forgotten your greater mistake and forgiven you completely you remember this this can become a part of your daily life you may not you may learn to forgive the same way this is the very purpose of these symbols if that does the symbol are meaningful the people are engrossed too much into the material life they have forgotten the essence of their lives you had mentioned once that in sweden people are not so much interested in spiritual things so from time to time the existence creates the situations and circumstances for people to turn to spirituality in the beginning it may happen that only the old and the rich people turn to religion because younger people up to the age of 30 35 forty they are not interested in religious things the energy is on the upswing they are not interested in things like this they consider that old man things and when the age is beginning to advance the downward trend of the energy has begun they lean towards the religion if you look into the events like these what we have to look into what is the cross section of the people that are coming towards that it is i tried to look into through those videos what is the cross section of the people the maybe a few of the younger generation or the middle aged people may turn change the direction of their lives after this incident then it is beautiful they may consider this as an individual may consider this as a indication that now i have to switch over my life of eat drink and marry be married to the religious aspect this is a symbol indication from virgin mary that i must switch over to that here what is very important as i had mentioned that depending on your upbringing the unconsciousness brings the things in that way how can you say that you had no connection with the other religious denominations you remember i had many times mentioned a story a man used to do trading for his livelihood he used to make the wax toys and used to treat them children used to like them he had a friend who was not working so very often he will come and visit his friends for a longer period of time and see him making these wax toys sometimes he will help him 
in making it or market it. Then it happened that this friend got a job and he went away to another town. For many years they lost contact. Then one day he returned to his town. So he came looking for his friend. And when he came, it was decades have passed. The person had become old. And he was not making any more wax toys. So when he came, he inquired, we always inquire about the things of the past. So he inquired about his the wax toy business. He said with the invention of plastic toys, wax toys are no more sellable in the market. So the friend got a little disappointed. He wanted to know what he did with all those toys that he had been making. There was a scores of toys. He said what I did, I melt all the wax toys and got the lump, the wax, bleached it and I am using this as a raw material. He got very disappointed. So he said, where is that wax? So he showed him a lump of the wax. Now this man's unconsciousness, he got into the state of unconsciousness. He started envisioning in that block of wax, the tail of the elephant the trunk of the trunk, the tail of animals, the lion's mouth, the tiger and all those things and colors he starts seeing according to his unconsciousness. You remember many lives you had before. What was the religious denomination to which you belonged to? Maybe somewhere you had inclination towards another denomination of Christianity, another denomination of Hinduism. So when you and all those unfulfilled things remain in your unconscious, all of a sudden they begin to surface. So how can you say that you have only connection with Virgin Mary, you had many women before, now you have the current woman or man as your husband or wife. But the memories of those past that you had experiences or you made love to those people in this life, those experiences, those images remain in the unconscious of your mind. Whenever situation comes in the surface, unless and until you go through the seven valleys, the valleys of tribulation, the valley of tribulation, it is entry into what Christian mystics have called the dark night of the soul. It is entry into the mad world that you are hiding behind yourself. It is very weird. It is bizarre. Up to the third a man can proceed without a master, but not beyond the third. Up to the third one can go on one's own. With the fourth a master is a must. And when I am saying that one has to go up to the third on one's own, I do not mean that one has to go and I do not mean that everybody will be able to go. I am simply taking a theoretical possibility. Up to third, it is theoretically possible for a man can go without a master. But with the fourth, the master becomes absolute necessity. Because now you will sink into darkness. When you look at this particular event, you come from the country Sweden, which has these influences, if there is a lack of awareness in you, then you may get lost in that. And things like these, 
the master becomes an absolute necessity because now you will be sinking into darkness. You do not have any light of your own that you can use in that darkness. When a person, the light comes only when person attains to enlightenment, then he is not swayed by any of these influences. Because everybody is ready to grab the ignorant ones. No priest can convince a Buddha about their idiosities. It is only the ignorant ones who come within the fold of those people who will believe. When someone said, because you have converted, you have forgotten your fold and become a Christian for whatever reasons. So Ganesh is giving you an indication that you have to go back to the original source. And the people believe. And that is why I said in, in all such occasions, the religious people who are giving their own interpretations. This happens in many communities. You do not have the light of your own that you can use in the moments of darkness. Somebody else's light will be needed. Someone else who has gone into that dark night and for whom it has become possible to see in that darkness. The negative part of the valley of tribulation is doubt. Great doubt will arise. You do not know what doubt is. You do not know yet. All that you think is doubt is something. Doubt is nothing but skepticism. It is not doubt. Doubt is an altogether different phenomenon. Somebody says God is, you say I doubt. You don't doubt. How can you doubt? You are only being skeptical. You are saying I do not know. Rather than saying I do not know, you are using a very strong word doubt. Someone says for example, you have never seen a ghost and you say, I doubt the existence of ghost. That is not doubt. That is just being skeptical. When I look into all these scriptures, it appears to me that these men of wisdom, when they realize that the human beings cannot be transformed, people continue to worship the Hindu god Ram, read his stories, continue to do that. And the character in the Hindu scripture Ramayana is, the story goes on, the king was married to three queens. Ram was born to the eldest and the middle one was influenced by her maid and she asked the boom of boon for Ram, the eldest son, to be exiled for 14 years and her son, the second son of the king, to be coronated as the king. Now because of this, no one respects the that queen who had asked for that boon. People are listening to the scripture, but they do not understand and do not follow. Ram gave her the full status and the respect of the motherhood without being angry or using the ugly words for her. But all the people who go to listen to those discourses continue to not have any good opinion about that queen. What did they learn going to those religious discourses? 
nothing you have to see that whatever is happening on the screen is merely an act so they put it maybe someone else may learn something when you watch the soap operas or the movies everyone the it is built around a story and what is the purpose of making these movies the sole purpose is entertainment so the person picks up a story weaves a character and weaves some sub stories the person who made titanic he said none of these characters except the sailors are the real characters the character of the lead role the male and the female rose and jack dawson they are all fictitious characters he says in his interview that there are many love stories on this ship but i have chosen only one this is for entertainment so these men of wisdom have woven a story around the character simply so that someone may get his life transformed use these events to create a greater trust and a deeper understanding that your life can be transformed that no matter what happens god has not lost trust in man he still trusts man and in his growth in his potential in his transformation out of this incident maybe some may be transformed change the di- direction of their inward journey read go through these seven valleys of al ghazali which is the chapter 11 i think chapter 11 in the leaves from the sufi heart volume 1 and then you will be able to see and get a deeper understanding why these becomes a stumbling blocks i will not go into the script of how to rear a child this morning keep up to here just trying to get the this is the chapter 11 and the chapter begins with a parable of naqshbandi sheik imam zafar sadiq There was once a woman who abandoned the religion in which she had been brought up. She left the ranks of the atheists too and joined another faith. Then she became convinced of the truth of another faith, yet another path. Each time she changed her beliefs, she imagined that she has gained something of substance, but not quite enough. Each time she entered a new path she was welcomed because people are always ready to welcome you so each time she entered a new faith she was welcomed also her entry was regarded as good sign of wisdom a sign of her sincere aspiration and wisdom her inward state however was of confusion and misery she heard of a certain mystic Naqshbandi master Imam Zafar Sadiq thus she went to see him Imam Zafar Sadiq listened to her attentively after he had listened to her protestations and ideas he told her return to your home i shall send you my decision in a message Soon afterwards the woman found a disciple of the sheikh at the door in his hand he had a packet from the master she opened the packet eagerly and saw that it contained a glass bottle half full with three layers of packed sand of black red and white color different colors 
were held down by a wad of cotton. On the outside was written, remove the cotton and shake the bottle to see what you have reduced to. She did as she was told to do. She took the bottle, the different colored grains of sand mixed together and all that she was left with was a mass of gray sand. This was the parable that was used in the beginning for the seven valleys of al -Ghazali. Go through this, use the light which is flickering in maybe small bits, but that will guide you to see situations like this in a deeper perspective. We keep this morning sessions up to here.